Welcome to Channel 63 Bridge Tips. And today we're going to continue with our series on two over one game forcing. And today we will introduce the jump rebid. Now let's keep in mind that two over one game forcing applies when you open in one of a suit and your partner bids two of another suit. And there has been no intervening bidding and your partner was not previously a past hand. So when your partner bids two over one, he's saying that I have an opening bid and we have enough points for game. Now let's try to figure out where our best contract will be. So let's look at hand number one. In hand number one, we have a very, very solid spade suit. Ace, king, queen, jack, seven times and three jack doubletons. Not an overwhelming number of points, but partner has bid two over one. We've bid one spade, partner has bid two clubs. So we know we have enough points for game. And keep in mind that partner is guaranteeing at least an opening bid, but may have, may have many, many more points than just an opening bid. Could have as many as 19 or 20. So our rebid is going to try to give partners some more information, and that will help determine where the hand belongs and whether it belongs just in game or whether it belongs in slam. So with this particular hand, we opened a spade, partner bid two clubs, and what are we going to do now? Now we're going to jump to three spades. Why are we doing that? We're not doing it to show extra points. We don't have an, a lot of points on this hand, but we do have a very, very solid spade suit. And by jumping to three spades, we're in essence saying to partner, I don't know yet what the final contract is gonna be, but it, chances are it's gonna be in spades because I guarantee that I have a self-sufficient suit. Even if you have one spade or possibly even none, we will probably take all the tricks in spades. Now hand number two is a lot stronger from the point count consideration. Here we have, let's see, four points in spades, six in hearts, four in diamonds, four in clubs, four and six or 10, 14, 18 high card points. A lot more points than the previous hand. We've opened a spade, partner has bid two clubs. Now, we resist the temptation to jump, showing we have extra points. We'll get to the final contract later, but just give partner some more information right now by rebidding two spades. And the way most of us play it this, this day, these days, the rebid of two spades says, partner, I have at least six in my spade suit, at least six card suit. So partner, even with a couple, knows that we have at least eight in that suit. And we'll get to the right contract just by bidding two spades and finding out what partner is going to tell us after that. On the next hand here again, we open one spade, partner bids two clubs, and we have a massive hand. Four and three are seven, two and nine, four, 13, 18 points, 18 high card points. And what are we going to do? We're not going to jump. There's no need to jump once you're in a two over one game forcing situation, unless you have a very important message to give your partner, like we saw in hand number one, where we have a self-sufficient suit. So we're just going to rebid two spades, promising a six card suit. Our next hand. Here again, we've opened a spade. Partner has bid two clubs. We have a very nice hand. We have 19 high card points. And we don't have to jump. We simply, we know we're getting to game. We simply want to tell partner where the hand belongs and we're gonna help him along the line by describing our distribution. So we bid a spade, partner bids two clubs and we're gonna bid two hearts. That promises partner we have at least four hearts. He may have a heart suit as well. So we don't jump. We simply bid two hearts on this hand. Next hand. 
Here, again, we've opened a spade, partners bid two clubs, and what do we do now? We have a very, very strong hand. Seven, seven, seven. Uh, seven points in spades, seven in hearts, and four in diamonds. Seven to four is 11, four 15. I miscounted, we have 18 high card points. We have a very strong hand. So we have 18 high card points, we open a spade, partner bids two clubs, and we're going to rebid two no trump. Now, this is a somewhat ambiguous, ambiguous bid because we could have bid two no trump with a much less support or much fewer high card points. But we have a very strong hand, and if partner shows any interest in going further than three no trump, he will introduce another suit. So if he shows any interest beyond just being in game, then we know that we're heading for a slam. So the two no trump bid is ambiguous. It could be on a much weaker hand, but partner recognizes that you could be this strong. And if he shows interest in something other than three no trump, we may be on our way to a slam. Our next hand, here we have a six card spade suit. King, queen, king of hearts, ace of diamonds, ace jack of clubs, five, eight, 12, 17 high card points. Here again, we open a spade, partner bid two clubs. We're gonna simply rebid two spades, promising a six card suit. We're gonna go, we're gonna to get to game, but it's a question of where we wanna be. Let's review some of the hands that we've discussed today. On our first hand, we open a spade, partner bid two clubs, and this is one of the rare situations where we're going to make a jump rebid, and we're going to bid three spades. Simply says to partner, partner, we're not necessarily promising additional strength. What we are saying is that we have a self-sufficient suit, ace, king, queen, jack, seven, and the spade suit is totally solid, and that's probably where we're going to play the hand, somewhere in spades. On our next hand, we have more points. We have four in spades, ace, queen of hearts, ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, four and six of ten, 18 high card points. But we're not going to jump. There's no reason to jump. Partner has at least an opening bid, and we may be heading for a slam. So we're simply going to rebid two spades, saying to partner, partner, you can count on me for a six-card suit. And I may have more points than I've shown so far, but I want to hear more from you. Similarly, on the next hand, we've opened a spade. Partners bid two clubs. We have a very strong hand, nine points in spades, four in hearts, five in diamonds. 18 high card points, bidding's gone a spade, partner bid two clubs, we simply rebid two spades. The suit is not yet self-sufficient. We could have a loser in this suit if the spades break badly, but we're telling partner we have at least six of them and we need to hear more from him. Keep in mind, partner's promised an opening bid, we're not gonna stop short a game, so there's no need to jump. Our next hand. Here we've opened a spade, partners bid two clubs, and we have a four-card heart suit. So we simply rebid two hearts. That simply says, partner, I promised you at least five spades, and I'm now promising you at least four hearts. Tell me a little bit more about your hand. Now the next hand, we're making somewhat of an ambiguous bid. Partner has responded two clubs to our one spade bid, and we have a very, very strong hand, seven points in spades, seven more in hearts, and four in diamonds, 18 high card points. And we're going to rebid two no trump. Simply says to partner, partner, we don't have six spades. We don't have a secondary suit, so we have a balanced hand. And we could be much stronger than just an opening bid. And if you want to go any further 
if you have more than an opening bid, you'll do something other than just bidding three no Trump. On our last hand for the day, here again, we open a spade, partner bid two clubs. We have a six card spade suit to the king queen, the king of hearts, the ace of diamonds, and the ace jack of clubs. Five, eight, 12, 17 high card points. No reason to jump the bidding. We simply rebid two spades. So we've discussed today a number of different situations where we've opened with a major suit. Partner has bid two of another suit, guaranteeing enough points for game. Remember, this applies if he wasn't previously a past hand or if there was no intervening bid by the opponents. So when he bids two clubs over our spade, he's telling us we have at least enough points for game and we're going to explore where the hand should play and we'll make sure that we will not stop short of game. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again next month. Stay tuned to Channel 63.